Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Did you know that many people go through life carrying trauma from the past? Some of the seemingly most happiest people carry a burden that they don't talk about, keeping it locked in their heads. But mental illness incidents are more common than you think. According to the US Department of Health and Human Services, one out of five Americans suffers from a diagnosable mental health condition. With such a concerning percentage, you're bound to meet someone who is secretly hurting inside. So here are six signs that they might be. Remember, this video is meant to be educational and is not intended to diagnose or treat any condition or situation. Let's begin. Number one, their personalities suddenly change. Have you ever had a friend who seemed to become a lot less receptive towards things they once enjoyed? A sudden change in personality doesn't just come out of the blue. Usually there's an underlying cause for it, such as an emotional trigger. Once they feel that trigger response, they can feel a sense of dread that affects their outlook as well as their interactions with other people. According to Healthline, common triggers can include grief, bad news, and disappointment. Number two, they have mood swings and become easily irritable. Does the person you're worried about have sudden emotional outbursts that aren't usually characteristic of them? Under stress, people can be anxious and annoyed by the company of others. Oftentimes they may project their anger in irrational and potentially harmful ways. Anger is not the only emotion that a person can show to signify their hurting. They may show their pain in other forms like insomnia or destructive behaviors. These destructive behaviors are loud cries for help. Gently advising them to seek professional help can be a good course of action to take in this case. Number three, they withdraw from people they used to love. Have you noticed that your friend isn't talking in the group chat anymore and has isolated themselves completely? A sign that someone is secretly hurting is when they disappear for long periods to avoid meeting anyone. They could go for weeks or even months without catching up with their friends, which can be concerning for everyone involved. Interacting with people can even scare them, which infests them with negative thoughts that may not be true. Number four, they don't practice self-care. Does your friend look thinner than they used to? Do their under eye bags seem a bit darker? An extreme change of personality can also change how a person takes care of themselves. These people may not take care of their physical or mental well being like they used to. One way to spot this is by observing their natural environment, like their bedroom. Is it clean? Is it dirty? How people take care of themselves can oftentimes reflect how they take care of their minds too. Number five, they feel hopeless and a sense of despair. Do you sometimes notice your friend joking about things that are worrying? Someone who is secretly hurting can feel a sense of hopelessness and lack of control over a situation. Past trauma resurfacing is a trigger that can cause the suffering. They might even lightly joke or make a passing comment about worrisome things. If this happens, don't take those comments lightly or ignore them. Instead, try to ask about it and help them help themselves if they welcome it. Some methods to alleviate hopelessness are giving them a safe space to grieve, anchoring them to the present and fostering meaningful relationships. And number six, they don't love the things they used to enjoy. Does your friend suddenly lose the drive to do things they used to love? Losing interest in past sources of enjoyment is indicative of many mental illnesses. Also known as anhedonia, this feeling of disinterest can be caused by anxiety, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, substance abuse, and stress. Ways to support the healing process is by practicing self-care routines. This includes taking plenty of rest, eating a healthy diet, making plans, and finding proper support. So, did you think of someone in your life that displays these signs? Some additional ways you can help are by asking them if they want help, affirming their feelings, or just being by their side. Of course, remember to use your own judgment and when necessary, encourage your friend or family member to seek out professional help. Did you find this video helpful? Talk about it in the comments below. Please like and share this with friends so this video can reach more people that could benefit from it. Make sure to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more content. All the references used are added in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time, Psych2Goers.